What's up you guys? Welcome back to another skincare masterclass where I teach you guys all about skincare and even show you guys how to make some DIY skincare projects in my Not So Dexter's laboratory. So you don't end up looking like SpongeBob and Patrick when they were exposed to oxygen. All right you guys, in today's episode we are heading back to the lab to brew up something bad and bougie. Bad and what? Well stick around and you'll find out. <music> All right, you guys, if you watched my previous videos on astaxanthin and CoQ10 in my Supplements Masterclass series, I promised you guys that I would show you how to make what I like to call my bad and bougie antioxidant skincare cream. Sadly, this video is not endorsed or sponsored by Little Uzi Bear. And if you haven't already, guys, go back and check out those episodes where I teach you guys all of the amazing benefits that astaxanthin and CoQ10 can have for your skin. So I don't know about you, but your boy is broke. My bank account's gone on strike, my credit cards have disowned me, and my credit score's filed for divorce. Which means I ain't got clout to throw on a $75 actual bad and bougie antioxidant cream. So instead of throwing away my life savings on an ounce of lotion that costs more than the GDP of the United States, I've come up with a better idea. A dupe, an elixir that's even more powerful than polyjuice potion, and one that won't turn you into a cat like it did to Hermione in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. But instead one with the transformative powers of the happily ever after potion in Shrek 2, which turned Donkey into a valiant steed and Shrek and Fiona into Ken and Barbie. And all for the low, low price of just under $5. So grab your cauldrons and a strand of hair from your favorite Instagram models, and let's get brewing some skincare potions. All right guys, so on a real note, to make this face cream, you guys are just gonna need a few simple things. The first thing you're gonna need is a container to mix the face cream in. Now, I typically just like to use glass beakers. That's what I have in the lab. Although a cauldron wouldn't be a bad idea, but whatever you have on hand will do just fine. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a capsule of astaxanthin. Now, in this formula, I just used the Sports Research Icelandic astaxanthin. God, that was a mouthful. But feel free to use whatever astaxanthin you have. Just make sure it's the astaxanthin that comes in a gel cap, the one that's mixed with oil, because that's gonna make it much easier for us to mix it into the lotion instead of the powdered capsules that you know, are gonna require some more work. The next thing you're also gonna need is a capsule of CoQ10. Now I'm using the Puritan's Pride CoQ10, but again, just like the Essexanthin, feel free to use whatever CoQ10 you have, just as long as it's a gel cap form as well. Up next, you're going to need a basic face cream or lotion, and this can be whichever brand you guys like to use, whichever agrees with your skin. I typically use Cetaphil or CeraVe. In today's video, I'm using Cetaphil, because both of those tend to work really well and I like them, they both agree with my skin. But honestly, whatever works for you guys is gonna work in this recipe. Next, you're going to need a spatula, and make sure it isn't one that you use to ice a cake or itch your back, so you don't risk contaminating the face cream with any food residues or any other questionable residues. You're also going to need a toothpick, guys, or a pin, something to just help us puncture the capsules so we can squeeze out the contents into the lotion. You're also gonna need some isopropyl alcohol, at least 70% strength, just to make sure that we clean everything up and make sure that it's sterile, and a scale that measures two grams. Now, if you don't have one, I will go ahead and link to a cheap one down in the description box below, but just make sure you're not also using it for any other recreational activities. All right, you guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is wash your container and your spatula with some hot soap and water. After that, you're gonna wanna let it dry. And then after that, just to ensure that it's even cleaner, we're gonna go ahead and spray down both of those and our work area with at least 70% strength isopropyl alcohol. Then you're gonna wanna let those air dry or you're gonna wanna go ahead and dry those with a paper towel along with your workstation. The next step is to now grab your glass beaker and put it on your scale and then we are going to weigh out 25 grams of the lotion. Now, some of you guys might be thinking 25 grams that seems like a small amount and the reason why I do that is because I wanna make sure that the ingredients are effect as effective as possible. So by making small our batches, we ensure that we use the product up much faster and that way the antioxidants will retain their freshness. And because we are introducing raw materials and working with an already formulated lotion, there is the potential of introducing micro
microorganisms or disrupting the formula of the lotion itself and that can sometimes break down the lotion or make the preservatives that are in the product less effective so just in case the lotion spoils you're not going to go ahead and throw away you know an entire jar of it you're just going to throw away a small amount now you could store this in the fridge i do find that that sometimes helps keep it fresher for longer um, i haven't really had to do that but i would recommend that you use this up within one to two weeks since it is a diy project so go ahead and weigh out 25 grams of your lotion and go ahead and set that aside. Now, as you can tell by the video, I was a little bit over and that's okay. You can be a little bit over or under, it's not an exact science. Now for the fun part. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your capsules. Now I started off with the astaxanthin capsule and you're going to want to use your toothpick or your pin to puncture a hole in the capsule so we can squeeze out the contents into the lotion. Now, depending on what brand you use, some capsules are much harder than others, so this may require some effort on your part, but just, you know, be careful and make sure, you know, that the toothpick or pin doesn't slip and you end up hurting yourself. So hold the capsule firmly and apply pressure to the capsule with the toothpick or pin so that you puncture it and that way we can squeeze out the contents. Then you're going to go ahead and squeeze the contents of the astaxanthin capsule into the lotion. And then the next step is to repeat the process with the CoQ10 capsule as well. And once you guys have the contents of both capsules into the lotion, all you got to do now is mix it up. It's that easy guys and you just made yourself a bougie, no no, a bad and bougie DIY antioxidant face cream. After that you're going to want to go ahead and transfer it to a bottle or a jar or you can just keep it in that container and store it in the fridge or store it in your bathroom wherever you want. Just make sure it stays in a dark cool area so that the antioxidants can remain as fresh and effective as possible. Now, if you're skeptical, I went ahead and demonstrated on my hands by applying a little bit of the antioxidant cream to one hand to show you guys how effective this is. Now, instantly upon applying the cream and rubbing it in, take a look at the difference between the hand with the antioxidant cream and the hand without it. You can instantly see that it's brighter, it's more even, it's more toned. Definitely looks a lot healthier, and that's just from one application, guys. Now imagine after applying this for a couple weeks or a couple months, how beneficial this is going to be for your skin. In fact, I'm actually wearing it on my face right now. Now it does tend to add a slight reddish orange tint, and that's just because we're working with really strong pigments, and that's okay, it doesn't seem to bother me. But that also leads me into my next point, and this is the only criticism I have about my DIY antioxidant face cream. Because we're dealing with such strong pigments, it does tend to stain bed sheets and clothes. So if you're gonna apply it to the neck, I would probably wear it a t-shirt or something you don't care about, an old t-shirt. That way if it stains, you're not upset about it. Cause I don't want you guys coming at me in the comments attacking me cause your bed sheets and t-shirts got all stained. So just a warning. Now it might have a scent and don't worry, that's just the scent of the CoQ10 and the astaxanthin. It's not that it's spoiled or anything like that. So don't be alarmed. It's just, you know, the way that it is. It's not like an added fragrance or anything like that. And it's not, you know, a sign of spoilage. Now guys, make sure that whenever you're doing a DIY skincare project that you practice good hygiene and that you always patch test before applying it to your face or any other part of your body to ensure that you don't have any allergic reactions to it or that you end up harming your skin or get more serious side effects. Guys, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a professional skincare formulator nor am I a licensed dermatologist, but I do my best research and try to bring you guys the best formulas I possibly can. So guys, that wraps up my video on how to make a bad and bougie antioxidant face cream. And guys, please, I would love to hear from you. Please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys ended up trying this DIY project, what you guys think of it, if you guys would like me to make any other DIY skincare projects, or if you guys have any topics that you guys would like me to discuss. I really, really would love to hear from you. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And lastly, guys, if you got value out of this video, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like button. Get jiggy with that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified on when I release my next video. On that note, guys, I will catch you in my next video. But before I go, don't forget to supplement and subscribe. Peace out.